Times may be dark, but we are... Hello everyone, Fuzzy Owl talking about Destiny 2. First things first, Ghost. Where the frick is he? I am almost certain he is not present in the reveal trailer because of, well, the events that are taking place in the trailer. The Cabal attacked and the Traveler looks to be in ruins and I have the slightest inclining that maybe affects the Ghost. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. As far as the story goes, we know that the Cabal have an elite invasion force known as the Red Legion, and it's led by our brand new villain, Gary. And Gary blew up everything. All of our stuff. Our home. So, everything is gone. Your stuff, my stuff, most importantly, my stuff. But personally, I think that's a good thing. It's a fresh start. I think that's what we need. Also, no more tower. And there's actually a canon reason for it in the story, which I'm, I'm really glad they threw in there. I was kind of wondering what they were going to do with that. And it's nice that it's explained why our gear has pretty much been rendered to Ash and Tears. Hopefully there's a haunting return at some point to the tower. Um, but I'm glad to have a new hub, and I can't. I really can't wait to, uh, to be in it. Mm. Guys, I really love the subtle but effective design changes in the weapons if you look closely. Um, they're much more streamlined, and they're just. I think they're wonderful looking. I, I had some issues with the previous designs in the past. Although most of the weapons were awesome, some of them I could have done without. Another cool thing, you can see a Suro shotgun. And you can also see an Omelon weapon, as well as Ikora's vanguard weapon that she's wielding, the, the shotgun. Which means we will have familiar weapon manufacturers, which is cool. I also can't wait to see the new ones. Very, very happy about all the Cade stuff in the video, too. So Nathan Fillion is fantastic. I absolutely love him. They, they definitely took the comedic route, which, I don't know, some people might like, some people might not. But I think it's good. I'm, I'm sure we'll have more darker, serious stuff soon. In the description of the game, they mention much more customization options for your character, which I'm assuming has more to do with the character stats than actually the character creation, which I, I would still like. I think that's cool. Cool. That's exciting to know that we can be even more creative when, um, when killing others. Yeah! They also have new game modes, they mentioned, which is awesome. I can't wait to see those. Bungie usually comes up with some pretty cool game modes. So the purchase options for the game are as follows. You can get the collector's edition, which is about 250 bucks, which comes with a handy dandy bag. Apparently, a new secret character carries this bag, so keep your ears perked for more information on that person. The limited edition comes in at $99.99 and includes the base game and the expansion pass, which is pretty interesting that they're mentioning about the expansions already, but that's kind of cool. You get a limited edition steel book and cabal theme collector's box, as well as, of course, just the regular old base game, which comes in at $59.99. We also know that if you pre-order the game, you get early access to the beta. And that is about all I have for you guys. Let me know what you boys and girls think about Destiny 2 in the comments below. Are you as excited as I am about the game? And that's that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go find Ghost.